Capturing exposure sequences for computing high dynamic range images causes motion blur in case of camera movements. This also applies for light field cameras, such as camera arrays. Images composed from multiple blurred HDR light field perspectives are also blurred. Instead of recording all exposures sequentially for all perspective cameras, we apply the spatio temporal exposure pattern to reduce motion blur. We encode four exposure times in each repeating camera quadtuple of a camera array. A regular exposure sequence leads to long recording intervals and consequently to motion blur if the camera is moved. Our spatial temporal exposure coding leads to shorter recording interval. Within each camera quadtuple, the longest and the shortest exposures are captured only from one perspective each, while the two medium exposures are recorded interleaved from two perspectives. For each of the four different exposures that are recorded at varying perspectives, we compute a depth map. Since these depth maps vary locally in quality due to motion blur for the higher exposures and due to low signal to noise ratio for the lower exposures, we compile them to a single composite depth map based on the depth confidence criteria. This composite depth map is used for clustering local point split functions. For each depth layer, we drag 3D feature points in all exposure images. Tracking these features allows us to determine the local point split function that causes motion blur in all exposures. These point split functions are used for motion deep blurring of each recorded exposure image at all camera perspectives. By shifting the point split functions before deconvolution, we can receive three subframes with varying exposures for each recording interval at all perspectives of each camera quadtuple. Compared to classical exposure sequencing, this leads to a times 3.75 higher frame rate. This example shows classical exposure sequencing on the right, our coded approach without temporal upsampling in the center, and our approach with temporal upsampling on the left. Finally, we interpolate deep blurred exposure images that have not been recorded from particular perspectives. Combining them results in HDR images for each camera perspective. Here we show a left-to-right camera translation. Comparing our approach with regular exposure sequencing reveals that while motion blur is vastly reduced with our method, there is no noticeable reduction in the dynamic range or altering of the bouquet. The heat maps visualize the captured dynamic range of approximately 13,401 for the high dynamic range light fields and 450 to 1 and 80 to 1 for the unrendered overexposed low dynamic range recordings. This example shows a counterclockwise rotation of the camera array. The recorded scene contrast is approximately 4400 to 1. Note that the stripe pattern in out of focus regions is the result of directional unassembling and are not artifacts introduced by our method. With HDR light field videos, it becomes possible to change exposure, focus, depth of field and perspective for each frame after recording.